been trying to get into this bunker for three years now, on and off, and I'm finally here. This is a huge one. I'm gonna walk around, turn on the lights on, and show it to you. I don't even know where to start with this one. There's a bunch of vehicles around me. There's a bunch of rooms. I guess I will start from these cars. Going clockwise and finish up in the room I started. Makes sense. Damn. I don't even know what brand this is. Looks cool. What the hell is this thing? Are these supposed to be the pedals? It's kind of cool. Rest it out. Oh shit, Chevrolet. Fuck is an American car doing here? Wow, there's evils in the door. That's some weird shit. This is a lot of, I think. It smells like diesel. I will come back to the fire truck. God damn. Let's see what's in here. Whoa. Fully new, unused GP7 masks. Oh yeah. And these are baby masks. The ones I saw in Chernobyl. <laughs> God damn. Helmets. Medicine packs. We got huge filters. GP5 masks, mask pouches. I've seen bunkers with equipment like this, and I've seen all of this equipment spread around individually around bunkers, but it's never in this perfect brand new condition. Well, you have been hiding here. Holy shit. It's a goddamn BTR. Beat up as fuck, but... It's a fucking tank. In a bunker. Well, it's definitely seen its day. Damn. Even though this is rusty as fuck, it's so cool. Did they stash it here in case the nukes drop and they need to fucking roll out or something? All right, that's the exit. That's locked. Time for the fire truck. Nice, it still has all the equipment inside it. Well, never been inside of a fire truck before. Mm -hmm. 
this is the same fire truck model they used all over the Soviet Union, meaning they used these type of fire trucks in the Chernobyl disaster. And I'm just thinking like being behind this fucking huge wheel in this goddamn tin can rolling forward towards an open reactor. <laughs> all right, I wanna get on the roof of this thing. The water cannon, siren, I guess those are the water pumps. God damn, this is crispy. I see that whoever owns this bunker just dumped all their trash in. But they're pretty cool. Tutorials here, how to build a self-maintained bunker. That's how Boom Boom looks. And this is what you will feel. Loss of vision, headaches. Wow. Yeah, these are all the consequences. That's how to use equipment, that's the procedures. I guess they learned a lot of this from the Chernobyl disaster. Although it was basically around the same time they were building these things. A lot more posters there, but they're just terribly obstructed by this junk. That's the thing about bunker preservation. A lot of people see these as just storage units and just throw all the old, you know, historic shit on the side and make room for their fucking fire trucks and tanks. But, you know, looking at this car, I can kind of appreciate the uh, new owners here. Chaika. Looks like a goddamn Batmobile. Smells like shit. Wow, this is a comfortable seat. Okay, and there's two more. This is like a fucking limo. So this is the main entrance, huge, huge ceramic doors. That one's probably thick as hell as well. So right there is the, yeah, this is where the power stays at. Really don't want to mess with anything here. Huge ass filters, I think. This was supposed to be a diesel engine, but gone. Those are bathrooms and showers, boring. Right, so this is the area that I started in. This is where the real command is made in this command bunker. We got a planning room, communications room, key room, bathroom. They got everything here. Let's go. I think this is the management graphs and building plans of this bunker. I will study these when I scan through the footage, but if they reveal the location, I'm gonna have to hide them. But this, this I think is the warning board. Attention everybody, and I think this is the drills they have to do when one of them light up. Yeah, phone's dead. Okay, this is the command room. Locked, of course. Oh shit. I guess this was the speaker. I wonder how many nukes I'm launching right now. What the hell is that? It's a weird phone. I'm dead, of course. Just imagine sitting here and waiting for the fucking end. Goddamn. Nice. 
I guess this is the entrance to the command room. Man, that lamp is really buzzing. Shakmati. Signal. I gotta write down signals, I guess. Another speaker. Mask. I guess I'm gonna have to blur these as well because I see that they show the location. What the hell? Wow. Is this like international or something? These are the phones that should work to communicate back to, I guess, Kremlin or whatever. The radar still works, just the antennas don't work because they're outside. This is plan schema. Not gonna show that. Okay, so there's the water room. Bunch of these all over this place. There's like two, three more water rooms with like a couple of these huge things. Showers. And the key room. Luckily for me, everything was already unlocked. Damn, those are ugly shoes. Well, here it is. God damn. This is the most impressive bunker I've visited so far. It's not the biggest. The biggest was the one that I had to crawl through a bent pipe to get to. That had like two like connected bunkers, both two floors underground. It's ridiculous. I got bats flying around me. All right. I'm gonna turn off the lights and get it going. 